The following production is based off extensive research and comes from the deepest form of love. All of my statements are not meant to be taken as factual information. The only human who will ever know this full story is Lindsay Lohan and Hilary Duff. I adore both of these girls and am simply telling a story as I lived it from a true fan's perspective, as well as from gathering research throughout the land. This is not meant to be gossip or slander and is strictly to be used for entertainment purposes only. Please do not get cute in the comments commenting about who is better. This is truly about being grateful for their collective existence and how the media created a vicious rivalry for entertainment what is up you guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for being here if you are new here please make sure you go ahead slap the shit out of that like button and also make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you don't miss another juicy y2k feud pop girls juicy did all everything's been so cute with these new documentaries if you haven't seen the first one that i did the legendary and iconic feud of britney and christina please go ahead and check that out i spent a lot of time crafting that and getting that story together and oh my gosh it was so much fun you can either listen to the podcast version on my podcast nigel a personal podcast or watch the full visual documentary that i made on my channel these stories i grew up with while i was learning music and movies and television and i only know what i read and saw and the little glimpses in the media so to really go around and stitch together parts of stories that i'm so in love with and that really have inspired me and some of my favorite celebrities it's been like a dream come true i love getting the full tea and getting as much information as i can on something that i feel so strongly about and Lindsay and hillary are right up there with what i feel strongly about i was already super obsessed with the britney christina drama and except had so much fun doing that story for you guys so make sure you check that out but this was a whole nother journey because <sighs> Lindsay Lohan was my girl and so was Hilary Duff and it's so funny because I literally feel the same way about both the girls the same way I do with Brittany and Christina like I'm 50 50 so you guys can go off in the comments about who you like better but I literally love all these girls equally they've all inspired me in so many different ways like I'm a little bit Christina a little bit Brittany a little bit Janet Jackson a little bit Lindsay Lohan a little bit Hilary Duff like all the girls in one don't care I'm here for it, but let's get into this. They are literally two of the most iconic stars in the world. Like when you grew up, if you grew up around the time I did, they you could not see a program, a commercial, a beanie baby, nothing without seeing the face of these two girls. And you would think, what could go wrong in the perfect realm of Disney? But it all started with a love triangle with Lindsay, Hillary, and Aaron Carter. And if you know Aaron Carter from today's world, you probably are gagged by this by thinking like, why would these two pop princesses be fighting over the likes of Aaron Carter? But you have to understand, this was back in the day, like 2001, when Aaron Carter came onto the scene, he was iconic because he was basically like already dubbed royalty for being the brother of Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys. So anything he did basically just turned to gold. And this was legendary that he was even around Hillary at the time. And it all started on 2001 episode of Hillary's iconic show, Lizzie McGuire, where she would co-star with Aaron during that holiday episode. And this was literally like so legendary. Like I remember being a kid and seeing the episode premiere on the Disney Channel. And it was just like iconic because you knew who Aaron Carter was and you knew, were already watching Lizzie McGuire every week anyway. So to see the two worlds merge, it was just like amazing. So they met on that set. And of course, that episode shook my little 12 year old self. And clearly it shook Hillary too because they became friends and then quickly started dating. They dated for almost two years before breaking up. Aaron told a media outlet in 2005 that he got bored, and when he started dating Lindsay, that's when he started to have fun again. <laughs> now, at the time, Lindsay was already heading into her bad girl phase, so this was the start of an epic sloppy path for her. Literally getting in between Hillary and and Aaron was very messy for her. And it's not like there were already magazines all over printing their relationship. So I'm thinking like on a side note, Lindsay definitely knew that Aaron and Hillary were a thing. And maybe this was the beginning of her just wanting to be a badass bitch. Like maybe she just wanted to be that girl and split up a beautiful pop princess with a bad boy, knowing that she could get Aaron because you could probably get that vibe with Aaron. Like, okay, I could walk away. He'll walk away with me. He'll be with me. Like he does not look 
like he's going to be a good boyfriend to Hillary from the get-go. So I feel like it was trouble from the start, but that's just my personal opinion. Anyway, so Aaron and Lindsay were together for two months, and then he broke up and got back with Hillary. Literally so messy. The two dated again for several months before calling it quits again because Aaron cheated again with someone else, allegedly. My question for Aaron is, who the hell do you think you are? Literally double-dipping with two of the most iconic women of Disney television. Like, he's got to be kicking himself in the butt today because both are literally iconic and legendary in their own ways and absolutely killing it a thousand more times than he is. So I know he's feeling extra salty. So my favorite part about this feud is definitely the silent red carpet battles the girls had. They were absolutely iconic. They began to show up at each other's movie premieres as an attack to each other. Hillary attended Lindsay's Freaky Friday premiere while Lindsay attended Hillary's Cheaper by the Dozen premiere. By the way, the drama got turned up definitely a notch on Hillary's part when she showed up with Lindsay's Freaky Friday on-screen boyfriend and co-star Chad Michael Murray. Allegedly, at the Cheaper by the Dozen premiere, Hillary's mother was requesting that Lindsay not attend. This even escalated even further when she were asking her bodyguards to get rid of her at the premiere. Lindsay responded by saying, I will not leave. I was invited. And then Hillary and her family left the premiere themselves. This left Lindsay to continue partying the night away with Steve Martin, Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore. Like, literally, imagine being these girls. Like, you're feuding over boys. You're feuding over the spotlight. And this was Lindsay's way of one-upping. Like, that night, I feel like, in a way, like, she actually won. Like, she's hanging out with the cast members of your movie like it makes me feel so bad because knowing the girl that I feel like Hillary Duff is I just wish she could have had like a little bit stronger of a backbone and maybe stood up to Lindsay Moore so she could live up that time of this movie and being around these actors like Steve Martin and Demi Moore like that moment was not meant for Lindsay that was Hillary's moment and that was her movie premiere and she should have been the one to have those drinks and hang out with those people at that time not Lindsay even though I do love Lindsay Lohan and I support both of them fully this feud makes me really upset because they don't need to be treating each other like that because they both deserve to be in the spotlight and there's plenty of room for both of them. Shortly after all this messiness, Chad Michael Murray was then cast in a Cinderella story opposite, of course, Hilary Duff. When they began filming the movie, it was at this time that Lindsay allegedly called Chad to trash talk Hilary but I really found no evidence of this during my research, but someone did say that this occurred, but there wasn't like any phone recordings or anything like that. So it's really hard to say if or not that happened. And I kind of want to believe that it did it just because I was a One Tree Hill fan and I do love me some Chad Michael Murray. And I just feel like it wasn't in his like personality to sit on the phone as yes, most younger men don't do to sit there and gossip about another girl on the phone. I don't feel like that happened, but if it did, Shame on Lindsay for almost maybe, I don't know what she was trying to say on the phone or what could be said. Maybe it was trying to get under his skin for the movie. But either way, the movie went on. It was great. We all love a Cinderella story. <laughs> In 2004, Lindsay hosted SNL and made fun of Hillary in an exaggerated skit in her opening monologue. Hillary was definitely less than impressed. She responded by saying in Blender magazine, Some days I just feel like I hate her. Around this time, Hillary's album actually featured a song called Haters, and people say it's dedicated to Lindsay. The lyrics do somewhat resemble the vibe of the feud. Finally, a new chapter of life began to unfold for Hillary when she started dating Joel Madden, who was the lead singer of a huge band of the early 2000s, Good Charlotte. It, it, literally, this band was everywhere. Like, it was the biggest band at that time. You also have to understand that. So we have two of the most, like, popular girls, and, like, now one of them is about to date one a band member of the most popular band so it's very very juicy things going on the two dated for years and joel got smack in the middle of a beef when he refused to give Lindsay's eight-year-old brother an autograph until his sister publicly apologized when Lindsay's brother and a friend approached joel hillary immediately recognized them and told joel who they were joel then told Lindsay's brother to get his mom and when he did he told her he wanted Lindsay to apologize to Hillary. Allegedly, the whole situation brought Lindsay's brother to tears. And this is a really hard story to tell. And again, I say allegedly so many times because I don't know if I can imagine Hillary doing this and being this petty. So I'm not sure how reliable
reliable the sources were that said that for this story. But however, if she did act this way, I would just attribute it to nothing other than teenage behavior and, you know, being petty girl at the time and trying to get back from maybe that night where she was hanging out with all of her co-stars at the Cheaper Brother Dozen, Dozen premiere. Maybe this was her finally way of having a little backbone and fighting back. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it happened. I'm not sure if any of this happened. But if it did, I would attribute it to nothing but that teenage behavior because I know for a fact that the grown Hillary Duff would never act in such a way and retaliate in such a way. But I do see how in their young minds that they could think that this is you know doing the right thing even in Joel's mind like who are you like how dare you even step in on the matter but he was young too so he was just probably doing his old 20s thing you know Shortly after, my scene began to sign a deal with Lindsay Lohan. And my scene at the time was almost like a, a Barbie line. So it was Barbie, Brad Styles, my scene. Mine seed made a doll of Lindsay, and then they even put like a movie to go with the Lindsay doll, and it was like a big deal. But of course, not too long after, actual Barbie <laughs> signed a deal with Hillary and Haley Duff, and soon enough, Lindsay doll was definitely forgotten. And I don't even know how reliable that is. Again, no one knows what happened at that time. Like, were you there? Were you watching the actual numbers and the, the prices of the dolls? Were you trying to figure out who sold the most? Like, I'm sure both dolls did well. And it could have just been a little media outlet saying like, oh, like one doll did better than the other or they're feuding and that's why they have the dolls. No one knows but them. But the story's always been so juicy and it was really fun to get all the facts and just kind of like bring a lot of the story in and stitch it together now in closing whose side are you on which girl do you like better definitely let me know in the comments but kudos to both the girls for letting this be teenage drama and that being that they have both grown on to be so successful in their own ways and i was and always will be a fan of both of their work i think they're both so iconic and although i do not condone gossip or drama this feud made me love the girl so much more this petty teenage drama brought out claws that would inevitably begin to shape both the girl's life Lindsay went on to do lots of things with her bad girl persona over the years while hillary continued to be herself and thrive in multiple ways in lots of projects some would even say that one might have it together more than the other but in my eyes they're both icons and should definitely be remembered as such